What's up, Raf gang? Welcome back to another God of War Ragnarok reaction. This is going to be uh, part two of the behind the scenes videos that they're giving us uh, leading up to the game release. I'm not sure how many there are, but I mean, I did the first one yesterday. And now today there's a second one. So I mean, I don't know how many more there are, but I'm going to watch them. because I'm very excited for this game. I already have the collector's edition pre-ordered. I have the controller pre-ordered. Mask, Kratos statue, Chaos Blade. I got it all. I'm ready. Can't wait. All right, without further ado, guys, let's watch this second part two behind the scenes based on combat and enemies elevated. Let's go. From a combat heard perspective, hurling I always and I still feel like the meat and potatoes of any God of War game is combat. Powerful moves, gritty, fatalities, dismemberment. I want to see it all. I want, I want combos too. Combos with the chains and the blade and the shield. My name is uh, Roberto Clemente. Uh, all my friends call me Bert. Uh, I'm a senior combat animator here at Sony Santa Monica. All right, I hope you can my bring it. My name is Kim Nguyen and I'm a gameplay animator. Hi, I'm Sabra and I'm a senior VFX Visual artist effects. on God of War Ragnarok. My name is Grace Pan, and I'm a gameplay animator in God Holy of War Grace. Ragnarok. Hi, I'm Steven Ohio GBA, combat designer on God of War. And I create interesting and memorable creatures that combat. players like to attack and defend against. All right, as long as you're not repetitive, I'm going to be very happy. As an animator, you gave happy. life to characters. You make them move, you gave them personalities, you gave them weight. My role as a VFX artist is to VFX. put the power Give me that behind a sweet move. 4K. You are in control of 30. fire and earth and water and wind. Whether you are throwing your axe or on the receiving end of an enemy spell, VFX is what really gives the movement and the danger to yeah. every move Give me that a character Great enemies. VFX for my LG G2 OLED. I work really closely with the design team and the tech art team on this project specifically. We actually work a lot with camera along with the guidance of our great camera team. So I find myself doing fight choreography sometimes. One of the most challenging parts about being a combat designer isn't the technical implementation of creating a creature, but it's really navigating that line between frustrating and engaging. We want to make something that makes players lean forward and focus Wait, and really try that hard against that enemy with and your feel shield? good about overcoming that. Man, but look we at don't want them to feel defeated if they can't errors. figure something out. And then it feels rewarding when you win, not because it was impossible, but because it was fun and engaging. After the last game, we've heard the community cry out for more mini bosses, bigger creatures, and enemy variety. And this yeah. time, we really leaned into that. Good. So, in God of War Ragnarok, you're going to be traveling to all nine realms. And yes. each realm is going to have like its own theme of enemies that are very unique to that space. For example, in Alfheim, we're familiar with the Dark Elves, but this time around, we're going to be fighting Light Elves, such as the Light Elf Warrior. <laughs> One of the key learnings from the last guy I hope that was PS4 because I want to see way more particle effects and how close combat slicing and dicing feel. these enemies. That knowledge, so we can build I need to see something we have, and we can iterate on flying off the enemies when I'm in them. Scenarios. In the last game, Atreus was just starting to fight alongside Kratos and he was learning from the master tactician. So in this game, he's trying to prove himself a little bit more, and we built upon those mechanics with him. The previous God of War, Atreus was still a kid, right? So he has a lot of dependency on his father. And for this game, you will see Atreus Good Lord, moving Grace. more independently on his own as a companion. In regards to VFX for Kratos, I think what the player is really loved oh, you can pick is up the rocks powerfulness and of it. On the ground. When cool. you are playing as Kratos, there you we really go. do feel like the God of War. And That's what I want. There we Ragnarok, go. Ragnarok, we want to really make something bigger, make it stronger, make it more of a spectacle. You want them to be like, oh my gosh, I didn't know that the Blades of Chaos could get even better, but look at that. See, what I'm thinking is because yeah, I'm not Kratos seeing all those particle effects is because you're choosing the performance mode, which is 4K 60. The combat depth. They're going to take weapon. away so the blades, one of the extra little really flare of graphics to reach that 60. So I think that's why we're going to be bringing that with a new twist. Like that. 
I'm, I'm very I'm excited okay for that. players to Good try Lord, this way grapple Stop. traversal moves. That brings so much more speed into the movement and the dynamic feel to it. Little big froggies. One of the ways we've expanded Kratos combat this time around is we've given more utility it's and choice to the right shield loadout. If shield you loadout. are a parry person, you could really go for a I want shield parrying. that gears towards parrying. If you're a big blocker, that is what then I you love can choose a shield, shield. that will yeah. really match your play style. That's me. One new mechanic or element that I'm really excited about Parry. is love these it. combo finishers. Building up the stun yes, this time around. Yes, that's what I want. Execution props. Basically <laughs> you're going to be able to choose, you know, which weapon you I want, want to have. I want lots of those. Guys. I want lots Another of those. Another feature that we've yes. added for Kratos is his new pre-fall attacks. You could jump off a ledge, and if there's an enemy below you, you could slam down on him. Ooh, yeah, bounce him in the air and continue the slutter. There's such an emphasis on verticality in some of these fights cool. that it's super engaging. And yep. as Kratos, now Boom. that you have so much it. mobility and that you can also take advantage of that verticality, I think it just adds such another yeah. interesting layer to a fight. It's gonna be they fun mixing Ragnarok, up the blades and the axe. The Kratos and Atreus duo. He's going to initiate a little bit more and be aggressive. He's gonna fight alongside you and sometimes even surprise you with his combo abilities too. That's where you gotta Some beef him up too. Some companion actions that you'll see Atreus do leverage the fact that he's Sweet. older now, he's bigger now. And he's different from Kratos, so his magic has a different flavor. <laughs> not only that the fight side by side together um there are also a lot of mini games and you know player interaction moments for example like the puzzle systems and the set pieces you definitely Ooh. will see a lot more collaborations between father and son oh valkyrie fights oh yeah odin must have sent them oh no odin there's so much speak? that goes into building a big set piece. You basically iterate and iterate and iterate, and it takes testing and just seeing what works to really figure out the personality of something. Sweet. Basically, so every fun. department gives it their all to make things really spectacular. <laughs> There were a lot of different times that I would look back at God of War games just through the ages before yeah, 2018. Yeah, I want more Titan fights. There are so many amazing, huge boss fights. Huge. That pieces, that it like the PS3 right there. That's PS3. Time, like the first project. boss. It's incredible. I need more of that. Our design philosophy for creating new and memorable enemies is basically making them a combat puzzle, similar to like chess and focusing on the chess pieces. Oh, Each piece I love the parry of the shield. Theme, That's so fun. Use. You need to be able to see what's happening in an instant and be able to react as the player. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of different ways that we go into making an attack very readable for the player. Sometimes we add a signature audio cue or we'll add the different rings, such as what we did in the last game, that lets you know that this attack is unblockable, you need to dodge it. Woo. There's so many different ways that the effects really helps not just show what an enemy is about to do, but show who the enemy really is. Oh yeah, I will take that right now, the real one. Put it right Everything in my cave design somewhere. Everything has to be Can't surrounding me. the essence mm. of the character and a story. It's what makes it believable and memorable in the first place. I think what I'm most excited about is for players to experience the diversity of enemies that this game has to offer. You will be oh, fighting so everything sweet. from small little creatures to things that will take up the entire screen. All of their That's designs are on the gamut. I think each one looks so much different from the next one, and each of them Great. have their I'm own I'm glad that all nine realms have their own enemies to fight. It's going to be fantastic. And so I think if you are really into Norse mythology, you'll be very interested to see how Sony Santa Monica has taken some of these creatures and interpreted them for God of Man, War. Man, it's gonna look so good Everything on the OLED. That goes into the oh, game, that there's space behind it, area, whatever that is. There's intent behind it, and by the time it gets to you, everything that you've Ooh, seen, that you're gonna Kratos. play and experience, has been sweated over, bled over, tested, and it's fun to play. Oh, I bet. Oh, sweet. Oh, I can't wait. I heard 40 hours. 40 hours. Oh, that's so great coming out on a Wednesday. That's fantastic. I'm off Wednesday. So it's all day long, Kratos. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this uh, second behind the scenes video. Hopefully, we get a couple more and uh, come back and watch them with me. Can't wait.
right, guys. Thanks for watching. Home theater rules. Wrap up. See you guys.